Hey everyone, today's video is special because I'm going to present and review someone else's project. Normally I just do my own things and when I do review others' work it's some kind of competition where many people participate. But now the spotlight is on Baruch. He improved my version of the Doppler effect simulator in JavaScript, making it more realistic and adding many new features. He also updated the code to use TypeScript instead of JavaScript and Vue as the framework. So if you're interested in these technologies, check his code out. I think it can act as a gentle introduction. Baruch has good reasons for using them, and you can find some of his explanations on my Discord. Anyway, let's see what his project looks like. The road has multiple lanes, and you can change the number from here. It's also possible to drive off-road, so it's a cosmetic thing, mostly. There's a slider to control the speed of the car as well. And to start the siren, you press space. You'll notice how the waves are much more frequent than in my version, and the sound effect and visualization is really great. Changing the max speed of the car allows it to go supersonic, so we can get a shockwave causing the sonic boom. Now, to set up the project you'll need to install Node.js, and then type npm install in the terminal. This will install Vite, Vue, and TypeScript. Vite is a modern build tool for JavaScript frameworks like Vue or React. It's also the development server, so we can run the project locally using npm run dev. Clicking here opens it in your favorite browser, and everything should be working now. Time to have a look at the code. Main entry point is app.view. It handles the canvas rendering, the animation loop, and uses Vue to update simulation parameters in real time. The important math and physics are in their own file. You'll find the Doppler formula, vector operations, and other things like lerping, clamping, and normalization. I like that there's a car class, then an ambulance class extending that, adding the siren essentially. The sound wave models expanding circular waves. It tracks multiple ripples coming from the siren and uses the web audio API. The microphone detects the sound waves when reaching it. It calculates the Doppler shift based on the wave spacing. It's a key difference from my version and that's why it sounds so much better here. Another standout feature is mobile support. There's a custom joystick controller which only appears on touch devices. But you can test it with the developer tools like this. The controls are implemented using polar coordinates, and they feel a bit strange. But it's something Baruch is still experimenting with, I think. He made a similar event system as the keyboard controls, using this event bus architecture to enable loose coupling. Baruch paid special attention to small things, like the grass texture which makes it easier to see how fast and in which direction we're going. He also added open graph integration, so it looks nice when he shares the project on social media. May seem like a small thing, but it's very important when you send your portfolio to some job application. It may be what sets you apart from others, demonstrating your attention to detail and desire to polish things as much as possible. Thank you, Baruch, for making this, and sorry it took forever to review it. I had to keep postponing it for different reasons, but managed to do it now just before the summer break. Happy summer, thanks for watching, and see you guys.